and even self a UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres don't summon everybody to so make them clap hand well well and make them support the humanitarian health workers plus first responders uh, where they work selflessly inside unprecedented matter. For message on the World Humanitarian Day, the UN chief uh, say uh, in quotes, these real life heroes uh, say that they do extraordinary things for extraordinary times to help women, men, and Pekins, and with their lives, uh, they um, ended um, by crisis. And they uh, still say, end of quotes. And then they mark them yearly for 19th August, the World Humanitarian Day, the commemorate humanitarians uh, where they kill and wounded for the cause of their work. And they call the honor all AIDS and health workers, uh, where even though, say, the odds day, they, they continue to the summer's life saving support plus protection. So people were mostly there in need. On World Humanitarian Day, we honor the work of humanitarians who overcome huge challenges to save and improve the lives of millions of people. These real life heroes are doing extraordinary things in extraordinary times to help women, men and children whose lives are appended by crisis. This year, humanitarian workers are stretched like never before. They are responding to the global crisis of COVID-19, and we did the massive increase in humanitarian needs from the fallout of the pandemic. The loss of jobs, education, food, water, and safety is pushing millions more to the brink. Movement restrictions to slow the spread of the virus have meant that communities, civil society, and local organizations, as so often before, are the very first responders. This year, we celebrate them. People who are often in need themselves, like refugees, helping host communities, local health workers who care for the sick and vaccinate children, and humanitarians who negotiate access in areas of conflict to bring food, water, and medicine. They are the unsung heroes of the pandemic response, and they all too often risk their own lives to save the lives of others. Today, join me in renewing our appreciation and support for the brave humanitarian health workers and first responders who show solidarity and humanity in this time of unprecedented need.